here back another video on the channel today. We are here for the Newcastle United versus Manchester United predicted team. If you didn't watch out of the preview, I'm literally recording this. I've li just stopped recording watching, uh, making the preview and I'm recording the predicted team now. So if you haven't watched the preview already, the i button up there, make sure I go and click on that or there'll be a link in the description and on the end screen so you can watch this video and watch the preview if you already watched the preview. Cheers lads. In this video, we're going to be looking at the predicted team for the game. As you can see from the title and thumbnail, we haven't got a left back at the minute, so that's not looking good. Uh, but let's get into my predicted team now. Smash the like and yeah, let's get into it now. So this is my predicted team for the game versus Manchester United. As you can see from my last predicted team, there is a formation change. Because this is the formation we did play against uh, Crystal Palace. The changes are Miguel Amevon's in the cam. He scored, for God's sake. Uh, Joe Linton's up top, right next to Andy Cavill, which is good. And it means the wing-backs have got a lot more freedom going up the field. As you can see from the changes, so, the changes are uh, DeAndre Yedlin's in, because we haven't got a left-back, so I think Javier Mankiw might have to get pushed out to the left. Uh, Jetro is in training on the 23rd. Obviously, I forgot to say, lads, uh, if, you haven't, if you're not going to watch any more videos until Christmas, I might do a video on Christmas Day, I don't know yet. But uh, this is obviously going up on uh, Christmas Eve. So if you do have a uh, enjoy your Christmas Eve, enjoy Christmas Day, obviously, lads. And yeah, I forgot to say that. So uh, obviously, Florian Lejeune came in for Crystal Palace, which was absolute class. He came in, he done a job, and yeah, fantastic to see him back. Uh, that's the team I'm going for Ingo de Vabga. And I think the two wing backs, I think Yellen obviously can't really play on the left, but Mankiw can play on the left. Javier Mankiw deserves this new deal. If he does not get a new deal, I don't know what the club are doing. Three centre half stay the same in Shaw, Fernandez, and Lejeune. Le At the minute, we don't have anyone else to go in there. Clark's still out, and Lascelles is still out, and it looks like Dummett's going to be out, so that isn't good. Uh, Dummett, uh, he's not like a massive injury, he's just. Ma he's got a major injury for this game, so we'll have to just see what happened. The two centre midfielders, uh, Shelby Hayden, were both good against Crystal Palace. Uh, probably will be getting changed. Probably maybe both Longstaff brothers coming in for the Everton game because obviously that's literally the 26th, the Boxing Day is Man United. We've got it one day, and then we've got Everton, so we'll have to see what happens there. I'm running the calm buzzing for him to get that goal, and two strikers, Carroll and Joel Linton. I want to see Muto play more, but you can tell uh, Bruce prefers maybe it's Gale. Maybe it's for the Everton game he might play uh, Gale and Muto. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, lads, that is my predicted team for the game versus Manchester United. Uh, if you haven't watched the preview already, make sure to go and watch that. Subscribe to the channel. I, I do appreciate all the Paraguayans from the Alm one video. Uh, you subscribe to the channel, so I do appreciate it. As I mentioned in the other video, I've got a new trim, Christmas and stuff. So, lads, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's get a win on Boxing Day. How are the lads?